Hello everyone, so this is going to be a um, video on how to edit the template that I use. Um, so if you have found this video, it's more than likely because you're using a template that I have or you just, you know, came across it. So, um, so when you go to Etsy and you go to um, the the graduation store that I have and you download it, it should open up to something similar to this. The only thing that may be slightly different is the pictures. Um, I did black out her pictures um, for the download. So that's pretty much it. Okay, so um, the only thing that you are going to change is literally the pictures and the words and the logo so her pictures if you're not sure on how to design um that's a whole <laughs> story in its own but all you literally have to do is um you can go to your graduate picture go to remove.bg post it um copy it or paste it in there it will automatically remove the background the best that it can then all you have to do is um bring the picture to this document replace the pictures here um again and then as far as the text you will just replace the text just as well so if you do not have any knowledge on um photoshop I do recommend that you search videos on YouTube. You can look at my previous videos to see how to make these changes. You can also look on my uh, YouTube to see how to change the colors. Um, but this is just a quick video on how to actually print the templates. So, when you, because I know what me when I first started doing graduation stoles, it was very, very, very confusing. And I've had to do lots and lots of trial and error. So, so after you're done designing, what I like to do is I like to go to the side over here. <clears throat> this side where it says design, design me, you can close this folder do command J on your computer or click on control J on your computer turn that layer off at the bottom and then go ahead and merge this layer here now the reason why I copied this layer that's because if I ever want to come back to this template I still want to you know be able to edit it without having to go back to the downloads or Etsy and having to re-upload it and everything so once you save this to your cloud you'll always have access to it now if I was to merge everything um, if I was to just merge this layer here first and then, you know, after I'm finished with everything and then saved it to my cloud, then at that point, I won't be able to come back to this template and re-edit it. So, alrighty. So, now that this is done, I've pretty much gone ahead and taken a screenshot of this. What I <laughs> would do here is I will go to the selection tool up here at the top. Then I will go from this point, point to that point, bring it down all the way to the bottom here. Okay. Now on the right hand side, I'm going to click back on this layer and I'm going to on my keyboard. On my keyboard is Command J, but on your computer, um, on your keyboard, depending on what type of computer that you have, you will click on Control J. So I'm going to do that now. Okay. So that's done, right? So now what I'm going to do here is, so if I turn this off, this is how it'll look. We can turn that layer off. Now you can go here. And you're going to go from this top layer here, bring it down. 
just like that, then we're going to Command J or Control J on your computer again. Then we're going to go to this side. It's okay it's, if it's a little off, it's okay. But let me make sure I'm precise. And on my um, on my keyboard again, going to go to this layer and click Command J or Control J. Now it is okay if you want to go a little ways off. It's it's completely fine. Gonna do that. But understand if you do go off a little you do want to make sure that your design like the words itself it's um it's smaller or brought in because when you finish or when you're done printing this you're going to print it at the size of your actual um graduation stole so if this stretches out the words they're going to also stretch out so again just make your words smaller, make your images, bring your images in a little bit. And what I mean by that, let me just show you really quick. So when I say bring your words in smaller, that means, why are you doing that? Okay. So that means like bring it in like that. So I'm going to close this layer again, turn that off, turn this off. Now, this is how my graduation stove will look, right? So what I would do here is, on my keyboard, I'm clicking on Control T. If I click on Control T, that's going to tell me like how big this layer is. So a graduation stove, Typical graduation stoves, they are 5.05 by 30. Um, me, I do like to, um, for my graduation stoves, again, <laughs> I like to be on a safe side. So I will typically change this to 5.25 and then change this to 31. Just so that it can give me some extra wiggle room. And then I will do the same thing for this layer. So change it to five point two five and change this to thirty one. Okay, so now when you go to print or make your actual um, graduation so this will literally line up to one another. So when I print out my graduation stole, um, I literally cut along these edges. I cut it on the edges so I can see what it is that I'm doing. If you all want a video of me actually making the graduation stall, I can do that. But that will be at a later time. So, that is all. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, um, definitely feel free to send me a message. Um, and, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video was very helpful.